Uh, so yeah, appreciate you guys being here. And today's topic uh, is not something we cover a lot, but uh, it's you know it's that time of year. It's summer. Uh, things are are dry or moving into the fall, but things are dry and yeah. And uh, hemorrhagic disease is is showing its face this year, and and we're going to learn all about that and what it is and how we can compare it to what CWD is and then what blue tongue is and all that kind of stuff. So. All right, I'm out. I'll leave it to you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's an easy task, right? <laughs> uh, so we we kind of anticipated, based on the wet spring this year, um, if it did start to dry out, that we might see a hemorrhagic disease outbreak. And that's exactly what's happening here in Middle Tennessee is probably where it's worst hit uh, so far with six counties confirmed. Um, and then we've also got a couple counties in western Tennessee, Shelby County and Humphreys County, I believe. Okay. Um and so hemorrhagic disease is that one that prior to CWD, we used to talk about a lot because about every four to seven years, we'd see an outbreak. And that's the one where this time of year, you see a bunch of dead deer, usually near a watering hole because they are running a fever. So they're going to go towards water. But the problem is the little midge that actually spreads this virus lives in that same area mm-hmm. around that watering hole. And so it just kind of helps to kick the cycle and, and get going. And so we'll see this time of year huge, some hopefully not huge, but a lot of times you'll see ten, significant anyway. Yeah, 10, 15, 20 deer potentially on a on a given property, um, you know, or just a handful here and there. Um, but ultimately, it is a virus. There's a bunch of different viruses that can cause it. Uh, we call it hemorrhagic disease because it actually does cause little hemorrhages, little bleeding throughout the body. Mm. Um but uh, ultimately, uh, either epizootic hemorrhagic disease virus or blue tongue virus can cause hemorrhagic disease. We can't distinguish based on clinical signs, those things that we can see with our eyes, what the disease is. Okay. We actually have to submit samples from those animals to, to actually figure out which one of the viruses it might actually be. 